Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sucky Thor News lo-fi episode. But the good news is, it is damn near live. An announcement has been made before the announcement. Oh my god, they found water on Pluto. And this is amazing because 15 years ago, we thought there was water nowhere except on Earth. And now, water is literally freaking everywhere. It's coming out of stars. It's coming out of the sun. It's coming out of Pluto. It's coming out of Europa. It's coming out of your ass. It's coming out of your mind. We got water, people. We got water on Pluto. And that lets us know where the Plutonian hydroponic was coming from. You see, we we're over at the express.co.uk, and they're saying water found on Pluto hours before NASA makes Europa announcement. It's like the baseball bat game where you're putting your hands on the bat and the person's trying to get on the top. Well, it looks like the Pluto people stole a bit of the Europa thunder. I hope the Hubble doesn't get too pissed. Pluto has thousands of gallons of liquid water hidden under its surface, scientists have claimed. It's a claim they haven't given us any evidence. Might be spectroscopy, but how do you spectroscopy under the surface, you know what I'm saying? The exciting revelation comes just hours before the NASA reveals the details about Jupiter's moon Europa. With many believing the announcement will also be about the discovery of subsurface water, which would be weird because they've already announced it in like 85 videos, which I've shown before. So just to like, oh yes, there's water under Europa would be anticlimactic. You know what I'm saying? So, experts have suspected Pluto has had a subsurface ocean since New Horizons spacecraft flew past it last year. Now, experts at Brown University have been analyzing the images sent by NASA's spaceship and concluded there is more likely than 100, kilometer, 100 kilometers of liquid water under Pluto's surface. Brandon Johnson, an assistant professor in Brown University's Department of Earth, Environmental and Planetary Sciences, said, Thermal models of Pluto's interior and tectonic evidence found on the surface suggest that an ocean might exist. But it's not easy to infer its size or anything else about it. I mean, it ain't easy. You know it ain't easy. Okay, and if you've been hiding in a rock, looking for subsurface water on Earth, Pluto has a heart on it. All right, there you go. We've been able to put some constraints on the thickness. We've been able to put some constraints on its thickness. That's what she said. And get some clues about the composition. The team, led by Mr. Johnson, mainly focused their research on Sputnik Planum, a 900 kilometer stretch that makes up the western lobe of Pluto's famous heart. It is believed that Planum was caused by a giant meteor, of course, crashing into dwarf Pluto. Meteors bring water, said some dumbass. However, as the team states, an impact would usually mean the area which had been hit would have a negative mass, essentially void of any content. Mr. Johnson said, an impact crater is basically a hole in the ground. Thanks, buddy. You're taking a bunch of material and blasting it out. So you expect it to have negative mass anomaly. But that's not what we see with Sputnik Planum. Can you hear me breathe? Usually when I edit videos, you can't hear me breathe. <laughs> well, what the researchers, what the researchers has found, I guess they were rushing this out just like I am, is that the crater has a positive mass, which they believe is a result of the asteroid hitting Pluto, which caused the subsurface ocean to even out across the dwarf planet. Mr. Johnson said, We wanted to run computer models of the impact to see if this is something that would actually happen. What we found is that the production of a per what we found is that the production of a positive mass anomaly is actually quite sensitive to how thick the ocean layer is. And we wanted to steal Hubble Europa's announcement thunder, which we've done. It is also sensitive to how salty the ocean is. <sighs> because the salt content affects the density of the water. What this tells us is that Sputnik Planum is indeed a positive mass anomaly and appears as though it is the ocean layer of at least 100 kilometers has to be there. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing to me that you have this body so far out in the solar system that may still have liquid water. 
It's not amazing to me at all, though. As Thor Thor News, the universe creates in many magnificent multiple ways. And for science to only be set on Earth conditions everywhere else seems to lack imagination. I'm sorry you didn't like this. This is live news, man. We do what we can. And I'll be back against all odds to do another jam against uh, Hubble's Europa announcement. Thank you. God bless everyone. You can now leave your comments in the comments section. And the flat earthers can be like, flat earth is flat. And then the NASA haters can be like, I hate NASA. NASA lies 100% of the time. And um, uh, people who have comments on the story can leave real comments. Okay, great. God bless everyone. Talk to you soon.